So we are above the Santa Ana at it number one and two. There's several hundred meters down that way. And uh, we've located three trenches so far. There's one down there behind these two trees. There's another one below there. So that's trench one, trench two. And this is trench three. And there's likely a, many more here, but these are 100 year old trenches. So they're a little bit difficult to find. So this is the first one that we found that we can clear out properly and get a good look at some of the mineralization. As you can see, heavily oxidized. This is the first piece we chipped off here. You can see you have calcopyrite, pyrite, and pyrotite. So we are gonna take a sample from this one here. And we have the other ones GPSed. Anyone we can find mineralization from bedrock in, we're gonna take samples from. J2 is working over there on a little open cut. And uh, he's just clearing it a bit so we can get a sample. This is a trench here. Really, these are both trenches. And this is trench number five. That's trench number six that we found. And as you can see, heavily overgrown. You can see limestone. And you can see the occasional mineralized piece. But we're gonna see what we can find. We're only taking samples of bedrock areas, but um, we're noting all the trenches and mineralization in the trenches. You can see the flagging tape up in between those two trees. That was the trench or open cut six. Just down below, we have what looks like at it number three. And it is following the contact of limestone. Looks like you're gonna have to crawl to get in there. But that's definitely the adit. They have a survey pin right there. Filled with dirt. So we found bedrock in this trench here, as well as the other one beside me. We've pulled off some samples here. You can see disseminated calcopyrite, malachite there. Would have been nice to see these trenches when it's not two feet thick of moss covering them. But uh, we are sampling the ones that we find bedrock in. So we got a nice sample here, another trench here, and you can see bedrocks exposed here along with a quartz vein, you have scarring beside it. This is the first piece of a sample that we pulled off. You got calcopyrite and pyrite disseminated. Another open cut here, you can see semi-massive and massive sulfides exposed all along here, along the back of this open cut here. Just chipped a few samples off to show you. We're gonna take a sample from here. You can see the massive sulfides. Massive calcopyrite, pyrite, and pyrotite. This is in a outcrop about three meters wide and then down around the corner about four meters wide. So you have exposure of about uh, seven meters. Looks like there's more open cuts over there. Very, very nice mineralization. All right, I'm hammering a piece off. I wanna show you this.
Take a look at that. Massive sulfides. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, we're at another area here where you have sulfide mineralization. You have quartz here. Down below is adit number one. And over there is adit number two. We are about 100 meters above those. And this is a scarn showing here from that last sample that we took that last area. We're about 30 meters away. You can see all the quartz cutting through here. You can see the malachite standing on the quartz. Hammering a couple areas in here. You have some disseminated calcopyrite in here. You have some massive calcopyrite down there. You have quartz here with a little bit of sulfides in it. And you have this sample, which I pulled right from here in the center. You can see you have disseminated calcopyrite. We're gonna pull a sample from right here and move on to the next location. So we are 20 meters away from that last area. Down there is an old road, or the remnants of a road. Adit number two is down there. Take a look at this. This is exposed mineralization over a span of 10 to 15 meters. You can see it going all the way up there. Here, I just hammered a piece right here and you can see massive sulfides. These patches are calcopyrite. You have magnetite and pyrite in here. So we're gonna get another sample from this area here. We've taken two samples, one from the outcrop up there 10 meters away, second one from right here. Just grabs, you can see massive calcopyrite throughout this whole area here that's exposed. Pyrite over here, calcopyrite there, but pretty much this whole chunk that I've been hammering out is all massive calcopyrite and same with up there. Just want to show you some of the samples that we're pulling out of here. Massive calcopyrite. Take a look at that. Stunning beauty. This is many, many outcrops like this. Watch this. More, more. We've made our way down about 75 meters and right here is the portal for adit number one. And reportedly this intersects 40 feet or about uh, 13 meters of scarn and massive sulfides, primarily calcopyrite, pyrite and pyrotite. Down here is the dump area, and over there is adit number two with all the malachite staining. This is adit number one. Just a quick look. You can see the top is limestone up here. Let's head to the other at it. So this is the stockpile area. It's about 10-15 meters wide by 10 meters. We're about 4 meters above the ground level there. This is all from inside the mine workings. Along over here, over to there, you have 
your mine dump. And up on top is at number two. Top of the waste rock pile. You can see some of the waste rock is very heavily mineralized. That's the stockpile down there. So this is the number two at it. Intercepts about 15 meter scarn body. So you can see all the malachite staining down here. This area up here is all mineralized. Going all the way up. You can see there's massive calcopyrite up there on the ledge there. I sampled here. Last time I was here, got a good sample along here. You can see there's areas where you have quartz cutting through. the entrance here. Yeah, this is definitely mineralized. You see you have a little band right here of quartz diorite and then you have a quartz vein cutting through that as well. However, the majority of this, anywhere you see burgundy or rust, that's all your main mineralization, your scarn mineralization. And last time we showed this as well, up around the corner, there's a, a hole punched in and uh, you're at the contact of limestone over there and scarn. You can see scarn up there as well. So the direction of all of those previous areas that we've sampled is this way. So this area doesn't even cut the bulk of the mineralization. The mineralization goes inside the added as well, running up the mountain. So we started about 300 meters away from this looking for trenches and stuff and we found we found one pretty much right away. But there's reportedly 600 meters that this was opened up over. So that's it. That is the trip finding open cuts and trenches. We're now at the mine. We're going to do a little bit of work here, a little bit more sampling and clearing some bushes and stuff. We got some samples of the stockpile. We got about uh, 20 samples today from different areas. Some really nice outcrop mineralization. So, hope you enjoyed the video. We got an hour left. We're going to spend it here. Take care.